In this video, we will discover how to create a realistic flashlight effect in Unreal Engine 5, perfect for enhancing your game's environment. Normally, the easiest way to make a flashlight, and the first one that comes to mind is this. Add a spotlight to the character, flip-flop it to the F key and switch it on and off. But I'm not going to do that. I want it to be a little more realistic. First of all, I modeled the simple flashlight with Blender 3D program and included it in my project. Now, let's enter the character blueprint. Let's first create a spring arm under the camera. Rotate 180 degrees and reset the location values. Let the target arm length be 20. Enable camera lag and enable camera rotation lag. Let's add a static mesh under the spring arm and select the flashlight model as the mesh and position it. I do this by trial and error. Enable camera lag should be turned off, because when the character runs, the flashlight stays down. It's up to you, maybe it will be more realistic. Then let's add a spotlight under the mesh. Let's position it right in front of the flashlight. Now let's come to the event graph. We will use the F key. Let's call a flip-flop node. Then we need a spring arm, flashlight mesh, and spotlight. Let's get them all. We will change the location of the spring arm. and hide the mesh and spotlight. Flashlight will be turned off. In fact, let's do it like this. The first state is off. When we press it, it turns on. Let's make the default location of the spring arm, negative 50 on the Z axis. Flashlight mesh and spotlight visible unchecked. After the flip-flop, let's connect the spring arm to the set relative rotation node and set the Z value to zero. Let's connect the flashlight and spotlight to the set visibility node and uncheck it. I find it useful to put a delay node in between. We will connect the opposite to B in the flip-flop. In the bottom line, the location of the spring arm will be negative 50 on the Z axis. Let's also check the flashlight and spotlight visibility values. Let's make it play a sound right after the flip-flop. We'll use the Play Sound 2D node.
Yeah, something's weird. Okay, I found it. We need to give the flashlight and spotlight visibility values the opposite. It should be checked at the top and unchecked at the bottom. My mistake. Now let's set the texture of the flashlight, an image you can easily find on the internet. Let's create a new material. Import the image and select light function as the material domain. Let's connect the image. Let's assign the last material we created as the light function material of the spotlight in the character blueprint. Let the light intensity be 10,000. Then you can change it as you like. Yes, it works properly, but I'm not happy with it. I think we need to soften the movement a little more. Let's add a timeline. Let's go inside and add a float track. Length 0 0.5. Let's add two keys. The first one will be time 0, value 0. The second is time 0 0.5, value minus 50. Let's select both keys and make key interpolation auto. Let's go back to the event graph and add the timeline before the set relative location node. Let's split the new location value in the set relative location node. We need the Z value. Since the first line will go from negative 50 to zero, we connect it to reverse from end. We get the Z value from the timeline. In the bottom line, we will do the reverse of the same operation. So we will connect it to play from start. Yes, now I think it is very fluent and realistic. If you're finding value in these videos, Hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.